Hey guys, it's Christy and I am here today to film the books I read from the months of July. Oh, no, that's my next list. From the months of April through June. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to tell you the name of the book, um, who wrote it, what I rated it on Goodreads. Yeah, let's jump in because I get a bunch in. Uh, there's Mr. Oreo. He's taking a nap. It's really, really, really hot here. Okay, so I started off from April to June reading The Summer of Sloan, and that was by Aaron L. Schneider. And I received a copy of that for review, and I rated it five stars. It was awesome. Next, we have Linger, which I actually listened to the audiobook, and that is by Maggie Steve Otter, and I gave that a four out of five stars. And then, along with that, I also read Forever and gave that four out of five stars. And I read, I believe it's called Sinner. Yes, and I gave that three out of five stars. Next, I read Invisible Fault Lines by Kristen Page Madonia, and I received that to review, and I gave it a three stars out of five. Next was When We Collided, and that's by Emery Lord, and that book was unreal. It was so good. I gave it a five out of five stars. It was one of the definitely one of my favorite books this year. Next, I read Are They Hanging Out Without Me and All the Concerns by Mindy Kaling, and I gave that a four out of five stars. Then I read F That by Jason Headley, and that I also received for review, and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was cute. It was just like 64 pages of like meditation things. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. Next, I read The Deleted Emails of Hillary Clinton, and I gave that a 4 out of 5. That was a review book. The next two are also review books. How May We Hate You, and that was by Anna Dresden, and that got a 4 out of 5 stars. And Detached by Christina Kilborn. Loved it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And that's definitely up there on my best reads of the year list. Next, I read Dumpling by Julie Murphy, which I actually won um, in ebook form from her Twitter giveaway. And I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. Next, I read City of Ashes by the lovely Cassandra Clare, and I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars. And hold on, I got, I got more by her too. I just want to do all of hers. Next, I also read City of Glass, which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. I think that's where they're going to start to get, like, really good. And I read Clockwork Angel, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. I also read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, and I gave that a 3 out of 5 stars. Night Film by Marisha Pessy, and I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. That book was really really good too. I read The Diviners by Libba Bright and that I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I know you can't really give like 0.5 but it was like just missing the 5. Like I had to give it that 0.5. Then I read The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. I gave Titan's Curse and Battle of the Labyrinth both four stars and The Last Olympian five stars. That was the perfect ending to a really great series. If you have not read the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, get on that. And then I read The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and that was a four out of five. Then we had Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor to finish off that trilogy. And I gave them both 4 out of 5 stars. And then I read Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohen and David Levithan. 3 out of 5 stars. My True Love Gave to Me, which was edited by Stephanie Perkins, but it was a book full, all full of short stories from a whole multitude of authors. And I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars. 
I read The Good Luck of Right Now by Matthew Quick, and that was a 5 out of 5 stars. Really loved that one. Approval Junkie, which was for review, and I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars, and that was by Faith Saley. It's, it was um, her telling stories about her life. It was pretty funny. Then I read Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford, and I gave that 4 out of 5 stars. And the last book that I read from the months of April through June were um, was The Eye of Minds by James Dashner, which I gave 3 out of 5 stars. So, yeah, I read a whole lot of books, and I enjoyed most of them. Um, I can honestly say that I liked all of them so that was pretty exciting but I got a couple more videos to film so I will see you guys soon see ya